guys, welcome. This is Unfinished. I am your host, SK Gitonga. Thank you for joining. This is the only place where we get to finish and finish matters. And today we are talking about digital scamming, which takes us to our first question. Why do you think people often get conned from online or digital scams? Let me know what you think in the comments section. Because the problem we have in our country, people are suffering, you are doing this and that, you are not getting nothing. So if you see somebody trying to tell you that there is something here you can manage, you can do one, two, three, so that you can get something, automatically you, you do it. Yeah. Okay. And that's how then you are conned. You realize later you are conned. Most the main reason why we get scammed is that uh, we need quick coming money. We don't want to work for them. We need easily coming money. Okay, me, me. Okay, me, me was by the way. I don't have a scope of financial literacy, but I don't have a scope of financial literacy. I don't have a scope of financial literacy. I don't have a scope of financial I usually assess, na, even if I'm, I'm to invest the money, I'm to invest the money. And yadi kienda, ni le ani, adi bede yo mentality na kwa kwa sana, ni le mentality uneka, una jembe ipe sayi kienda chienda, nita kwa sawa. Leki sa unapata kuna watu, ngini wanaenda, adi wana, wana over risk, wanaeka pesewa yote, adi wanaenda wana kopa. Konza, yo staff ya kukopa, unaenda unapata, msa wameenda wame kopa pesa, wameenda wame, wame kuku hivyo, inaenda, msa na baki mwenye. So, neza sema pia zi, wasess, wana ujwa nya kuko. Ah, okay, mene za sama scope ba, wana assess. Na pia yo yo staff yako ujue pesa ngapi utaweka. Yaani ile yaani ile kiandwa ni sawa iende. Iende kabisa. Uko sawa, lakini eh like watu wa assess kwanza before my invest. You will see when you scam or say ni wasi wamejaribu kutafuta job au mikosa like hakuna job kwa my youths. And since una jo say easy most of the youths wameingilia like social media, internet. They get to learn new stuff. They get to learn new stuff. So and idleness. So when they idle, where we una jifanya vile uko na pesa, they'll scam you in order to get that money because of unemployment. Factors in a contributor to scam you online. Number one, people are generally dumb. Like watu hawataki kufikiria kuna vitu zenye ukiambiwa hivi wewe mwenyewe unaona ini wizi but people hawataki kufikiria unaona that's the first factor number two, wezi wamekuwa brighter than the people that's coming like the scammer is smarter than the person who's getting scammed unaona so ukiwa na hiyo mindset obviously the smarter person will win so is one of factor mbili mimi nasema ujinga na people being smarter than this the one being scammed uh, some people want easy money. They don't want to ha work hard for it. And some, and others are being persuaded to join the online scams and stuff. You see that your friend has gotten a lot of money, so you also you, you want to get the money quickly as your friend, so you are scammed. Uh, people are being scammed because they lack knowledge. That's just basically it. And also the desperation for money and praying on the weak because of the lack of the knowledge towards money. It is because of uh, misinformation. And the other thing I may say, the reason why people are scammed on social media or social platform, it's because uh, they are also, there's uh, the aspect of uh, wanting to make it lapidary or abruptly, or a boom of, of growth which uh, is also another factor that is making people fail because uh, there's no way you wake up and become a millionaire in a day. You are every journey of million miles as a single step to start with. First of all, we don't have the knowledge of what happening in the digital world. Uh, when you see people flexing, for example, the forex traders, they are selling a lie. Not the truth, they are lying. So everybody now want to adapt that life. And we're in an era that uh, people want quick money, quick wealth, everything to be quick as far as end. Way back, way back, people they were building uh, slowly, slowly, slowly until you build a number. Right now, people just want to, to have it, right? If it's a new car, you want to have that car. Now on the process, you try to risk, but you know what you are, what you are risking is like, it will never come back because uh, 
first of all, you don't have the knowledge. You know, if you are trading yourself, you will see this is now a risking factor. So I should opt out. But if, if you are giving someone because he's, uh, he's lying or he's trying to threaten, to threaten you, because I saw, I saw that uh, story yesterday, and the pastor was saying, if, if you don't want to trade with us or you don't want to join this movement, we are going to opt. You are, you are not among us. You are not among us, you see. So with the online illiteracy and people now say, what do you do? I'm doing content. Content's giving me uh, money. I'm doing online writing. I'm doing whatever uh, trade, uh, what do you call it? Forex trading and so on. The other bitcoins. Now you also want to to venture into it because you want quick money. That's where the problem is. We don't finance, uh, online financial, uh, financial literacy. We don't have that literacy to the capacity because I believe in uh, the already developed country. It's doing well, but here they are taking advantage. Yeah, maybe there are some people who are making it through it, but I think they are taking it too far. And if you want to make it uh, to be successful nowadays in Africa, especially in Kenya, just include God in your scamming and you are good to go. You are good to go. Uh, I think lack of employment, lack of jobs. Nujua, mtu wakikosa job, atafikiria kupata pesa in another way. And if the good way, options zote za kupata kazi ama pesa, the good way is meisha, usi ata ingia kukua skama. Obviously, kama kona knowledge ya computers, ama knowledge ya internet, ita lead to hapo tu. I think some of the reasons that some of you guys get scammed online, um, first of all, is you guys do not want to work hard for your money. You want easy cash. Uh, you, don't, you do not want to work a nine to five, which definitely obviously pays, but it probably doesn't give you that much within a short time. Another thing is unemployment and idleness. People don't have something to wake up to and uh, they, as a result, they look for something that they can easily do at home. Which takes us to our second question. Do you think members of the public are well informed about financial literacy? Let me know what you think in the comments section at Y254 and finished. I think they're not taught about how to handle money. So I think they're not well informed. 100% no, they are not. They are not informed. And there is this organization for CC, was it CCK, something like that? The one that like read the, the online issues. Also, I don't know what they are all. Sometimes they should, be, they should be going to Mashinani and talk to the people of Kenya to know somehow things, if it come on your way, you'll know how to handle it. Uh, financial literacy is a problem that cut across from unlearned to even PhD holders. People are crying each and every day on how to spend their cars. So it is an upcoming gap within our society that should be tackled well. Uh, we need to be trained on that. I don't think people have the knowledge, and that's why they want to scam you. So, as in, okay, I mean, as I say, even if you don't have the knowledge, you can engage someone who has, a, has the knowledge. Not make sense or it does not make sense. I love you can go as in the Wangale Kama as a new company or registered such things as in Jokama your investment na make sense. Ju ah okay, nyoki. Where you make up and uh like Kurasu and Nakosoma about finance. Na kuna wenye hawajui anything about finance. So, akipata pesa ya najatu mini kipata pesa, ndafanya hivi na hivi. Like, nikipata pesa, mi pesa yangu inenda kwa. Maybe some people, maybe kwa drugs, kwa pombe, kwa social life, try to impress or say. Na kuna ule mwenye akipata pesa, amikuwa miibajiti ya misimwa. Certain amount goes to the savings, certain amount... Ni yago for recreation purposes and in Guinea, maybe rent and some stuffs. Those are so you know, me on a job about to economize uh, stuffs like that. Some of them are illiterate, so they just want to get easy money, they don't want to work hard for it, and some of them also put the wrong investments. 
Uh, you cannot protect yourself from digi digital scammers because you never know when it's coming. But once beaten, twice shy. So you'll have to encounter them in order to know them. Yeah, so next time, utakuwa extra rada. Utakuwa kama itai mungine. Members of public, I'm well informed because anything, what kind of finances, anything, members of public are informed. Like, what are our People are just living, no, no. So people are not well informed over their finances, over edu education, anything. I don't think so. I don't think so they are well informed because if they were, some things, uh, we couldn't be seeing them happening. For example, what happened yesterday, it happened because the people who were scammed, they were just they were just told, they, they were just told, and because now they trust the person than the bank, but or someone who is well off in that expertise in those areas, they just do, they just expose their money, their property, anyhow. Yeah, so it's they are not well informed, and in that, I think the remedy for that is that the person should take a, is a personal responsibility. For instance, they say security start start with you, the social it is, should also start with you. Just how you manage your finances, who to work with, who to trade with, yeah. And if you feel that uh, you're not, you're not uh, aware or you are not well off on the same, just there are a lot of experts. Go find lawyers. Go to the bank. They will advise. They will advise you because now you say financial literacy. It's a, it's a wide topic because there is investment. Sometimes you check on what to invest on, what not to invest on. Yeah. Just before, if you have a bulk amount of money, even the little, how you spend money, maybe a, a 100 book, it will determine how I'll spend a 1 million. Let me say, monetary issues are very critical. Everybody, even whoever did not go to school, is very much informed about money. But now, other aspects that revolve around money is, is the main issue, whereby maybe savings, Maybe, uh, maybe in uh, uh, investments, those are the main. But money is everybody. I think the public is well informed about money. But now the ways of making more money, ways of uh, also uh, maintaining the money and upgrading it, that's another issue. That's where I think information is less. I feel like the fact that we did not have this as a compulsory subject in school makes it so hard for people to have this kind of information. I mean, a few people are informed, they do know how to save their money, how to invest, whereas other people do not have a way of finding out because uh, people from nowadays get it from online, they get it from books, but we do have people that do not have um, access to this kind of facilities and i feel like we as a friends if you do have more information than your friend does make sure to teach them tell them how to allocate their finances properly let's take a short break we'll be back with two more questions <music>